I've never really considered myself a mad scientist, more like a crazy scientist. We've had a really crazy week around here at Mercedes Source, and it gets pretty exciting when we come up with some new inventions, and that's pretty much what we did this past week. We finalized a complete kit for setting the injection timing on these old Mercedes diesels. And it's pretty exciting because we went through a whole bunch of tests with different types of methods. And I believe I've come up with a method that is going to be able to be used by anyone to get really reliable and consistent and very precise results when setting the injection pump timing on these 1985 and older Mercedes Benzes. So along the way, working on this 240D, setting the injection pump timing we ran into a real struggle, and that was getting to the bolts on the injection pump, particularly the bottom bolt underneath, because on the 115 chassis, you don't have a lot of room between the frame and the injection pump to work, and there's a lot of hoses going through there. So it was kind of a pain. We just kept working, rolled the sleeves up, just kept trying, and this is where we came up with one crazy invention, and I'm gonna call this my snake wrench. <laughs> This is unbelievable. You know, even I c cannot believe how well this works. After we started with all kinds of attempts at trying to get a wrench that would snake its way down underneath that injection pump, snake its way to the rear bolt for that back brace and get to it to loosen it so you can rotate the pump. And that's what you have to do when you set the injection pump timing. You have to be able to loosen the pump and move it like you would a distributor, you know? So anyway, this is pretty exciting. We've actually gone into production today, right now in the shop. We've set up the jigs and we've started heating these wrenches. We had to get a very long, special, high quality, 13 millimeter combination wrench to start with. And here you can see the process. And this is what we're doing here at Mercedes Source this week. We're making the snake wrenches. Now, when I filmed a training video on how to set the injection pump timing, it was very difficult in the engine compartment of this 240D to get the camera down there to get to show how this wrench worked. I mean, you couldn't, you can't even get to the bolts. You can't even see the bolts and trying to get a camera in there is just a lost cause. So what I did is I went back in the shop and pulled out a OM617 turbo diesel engine that's out of the car. So now let me show you how this wrench really works to get to those bolts. This is the injection pump on an OM617 turbo diesel engine. There's a triangular flange on the front of the IP pump which is held to the block by three nuts. You have one here, you have one right down underneath here, and then you have one on the inside between the cylinder head and the injection pump. Now getting to this one here isn't too difficult. Getting to the one inboard is a little more difficult and sometimes getting to this bottom one is a real pain. But let me tell you, getting to the, the back one, this brace bolt right here, can be the most difficult. So you can see using the snake wrench, getting on this one is not a big deal. You usually have uh, no problem, although on some engines you've got certain hoses here. So having this angle in this bend will allow you to choose. You could even come in and go like this, see, if you have a clearance problem with hoses uh, coming off the engine or whatever. You have a lift pump here and some other hoses that may get in the way. But getting on the lower one is where this wrench really shines. You can see that you can bring it all the way up here. See if we can get one more bite up. No, that's that's the bite there. And then of course you're going to loosen it, and you only have to loosen it maybe a half to three quarters of a turn. You want it about this loose when you go to adjust the pump back and forth. 
Getting on this bolt and loosening it and tightening it is about as difficult as filming it. Notice it's almost impossible to even see in a video scene. Note here you would have two oil cooler lines coming out. So trying to get a regular wrench in here and getting on the back of that nut, you can hardly see it. It's near impossible. But with this wrench, choosing this particular angle, I can go right between the oil cooler hoses and get on that bolt like that. See that? And if it doesn't catch there, I can lift it up, get right on it there, and then I can loosen it up. Because all you have to do is loosen that bolt up in order to adjust the pump. You don't have to take it all the way out. If you're having a problem getting in between the oil cooler hoses, you can flip the wrench over like this and go underneath right here. And if there's enough travel on that bolt, you can get on it. Say, it's going to be tight. You may have to loosen this lower oil cooler hose and remove it a little bit so you can work the wrench in between. But depending upon where the bolt is, you might be able to work it from underneath. You'll probably have to get underneath the car to get access from this angle here. Okay, now I think you can see why I'm so excited about this wrench. Even after coming up with the bend, we decided to make another modification to the head to give it a little more clearance. I'm going to show this up close to you so you can kind of see the evolution and the final design of what I call Kent's snake wrench. As with most of the tools I design here in my shop, this tool went through an evolution. And if you saw my previous episode of Kent's Garage, that's episode number 13, I showed some of the early wrenches, the early attempts, I could say, at trying to get this wrench right here. So this is an evolution of about 10 different attempts at bending, twisting, and contorting a 13 millimeter combination wrench. But just today, we came up with the final modification, and that had to do right in here at the neck, just below the boxed end. When we got it up in there, it would come up and hit. There's a metal plate on the back of the ejection pump where that rear bolt is for that back bracket. And so what we decided to do was just come in and grind off right there and straighten this out a little bit. So what this has done is it's narrowed this up this way and narrowed it up that way just enough so that's going to give us just a little bit more travel when we're getting to those really difficult nuts and bolts holding the injection pump to the engine. So if you're interested in purchasing this wrench, I put some links in the show more description of this video. I've also put a link down there taking you to our complete injection pump timing kit and some of the things that you will need to do this yourself. I've got some videos there on my website which will give you a sneak peek at how this kit works and if you're interested in ordering it, I'll have all the links, everything you need, right there in the show more below this video.